what gear you wear is a personal choice. I just don't get it. Like to see guys riding around in t-shirts, shorts, flip-flops, no helmets on a sport bike. I mean, I'm guilty of wearing shorts when I ride to the train. But I still wear a jacket and a helmet and gloves. So I slept in a bit today and hung around the house until after I ate lunch. And then I rode my scooter down to cycle gear because I needed new gloves. If you hadn't noticed in some of the other videos, I was wearing uh, these brown work type gloves. And at one point I had shoved them into my jacket without the Velcro straps closed. And the Velcro got caught on the inside of the mesh of the jacket. And when I pulled them out, it just ripped the uh, Velcro to fuzz so they would no longer close anymore. So in the videos you would always see the little closure tabs flapping around in the breeze and the wind. So I went down to cycle gear. I rode there even though it was hot because you really don't want to drive your car to the motorcycle gear place. Um, but in fact cycle gear is right over there. I really don't like cycle gear but it's just a personal thing. Their stuff is always disorganized and they never have what I'm looking for. But I eventually found a pair of gloves. You can see them here. They're Sidichi, I guess is how you say it. I'm not sure what, what are these big bumps for? Punching people out? I don't know. Is, is that part of your hand that gets smacked against the ground when you fall off? It seems like you'd put your palms down before you hit the top of your hands, but I'm not sure. Anyway, they were only $27. They were on sale. They have a lifetime guarantee. Can't complain. But it was really hot riding home, and then I felt really fatigued. But I also got some other new gear that I ordered from Revzilla. I got a uh, clear pin lock um, insert for my visor. This solved all my fogging problems, which I love. So it was worth every penny of the 26 ish dollars I paid for it. I also got a visor bag. I believe it was... Uh, I don't know what the brand is, but I right now I have my tinted reflective visor in there to keep that protected since that was 40 or 50 bucks. Um, oh, and I also got a, a helmet bag. I got the helmet bag for carrying my helmet on the train. Uh, if you remember a few videos back, I talked about trying to, you know, different ways I was thinking to secure my helmet while uh, my scooter sat in the parking lot on days that I rode on the train. Then I decided there's a million creepy things that could crawl into my helmet in Texas. So I might be better off getting a helmet bag and just taking my helmet with me. That way I know it's safe. So I got the helmet bag. And if nothing else, it's a good way to store your helmet. Uh, if I get a new helmet and this helmet goes into storage, then it'll go into that bag. And uh, it'll be safe there. While I'm not wearing it. girl on a scooter. I see a lot of women in Austin wearing scooters. In fact, in the last Friday's video, I think video number 11, I uh, roll up behind a woman riding a scooter with her yoga pants and yoga mat and flip-flops and pink helmet and all that. But I see a lot of uh, women dressed up for you know business clothes riding scooters around town. I don't know if it's a parking issue, or a cost issue, or what, but scooters are popular in Austin. Speaking of scooters being popular, have you seen Macklemore and Ryan Lewis's new video called Downtown? I'm going to put a link right up here. Just pause this video, and go watch it, come back. You won't be unhappy. It is amazing. 